Hey guys, Kenny here and welcome back. Today on this video, I am going to share with you what's inside my everyday makeup bag. If you're a beginner and nagahanap kayo ng reference para sa pag-build ng sarili niyong makeup kit, this video is for you. All of the items kasi na ire-recommend ko sa video na to are locally available and also affordable. Aside from that, hindi lang pang daytime. Pwedeng-pwede nyo din gamitin para gumawa ng full glam or night look yung mga items or products na if feature ko sa video na to. If you guys want to know why I love these products and also if you want to see the swatches, just keep on watching. Let's start with sunscreen and for me, ito yung may recommend ko. This one is from Neutrogena and yung tawag sa kanya is the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen with SPF 50. And one of the main reasons why I love this is because true to its claim, Talagang sobrang lightweight lang nitong sunscreen na to sa skin. Ganito yung itsura ng sunscreen. And look at this guys. Kapag ka binlend nyo siya, it literally dissolves. It melts into the skin and parang wala kang nilagay. And hindi siya malakit sa skin which I really appreciate kasi ba sobrang humid sa atin. And kapag ka gumamit ka ng mga product, especially cream, hindi siya comfortable. But etong sunscreen ng Neutrogena, talagang lahat ng claims niya sobrang totoo. That's why I love it. Medyo pricey lang siya ng konti, like pas 500 pesos. But I feel like you get what you pay for because yung quality nga maganda. And also, madami siyang laman. For moisturizer, of course, yung ire-recommend ko is yung palagi kong ginagamit. And that is the Iweight Korea Aqua Moisturizer whitening vita and this one sobrang perfect niya if you have oily skin because water based siya and for those of you na hindi pa alam kung ano yung itsura nito this is how it looks like ayan guys as you can see kulay aqua blue siya tapos once you rub it what happens is parang nagme-melt siya it turns into liquid basically mabilis siyang mag-sink in sa skin mabilis siyang ma-absorb tapos wala din siyang lagkit factor at all kaya sobrang comfortable niya sa balat it smells really good as well that's why i love using this Kahit na hindi ako nagme makeup And very affordable as well. I believe this one is around 200 pesos lang. Super affordable. For primer, yung may recommend ko and sobrang okay na okay for everyday is the EB Advance First Step Mattifying Primer. And dito sa isang to guys, ang maganda sa kanya is unlike other primers, very lightweight siya but it does the job. Product looks like this and as you can see, clear lang siya. And once you blend it onto the skin, talagang instant, nakaka-mattify siya. It fills in the pores as well. So basically, para siyang hybrid ng Quick FX No Shine Mattifier and Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So yeah, ayun guys, if you're looking for a primer na perfect for every day, yung nakaka-fill in ng pores and also nakaka-mattify ng skin without breaking the bank, I highly recommend itong EB Advance First Step Mattifying Primer kasi ano lang to eh, more or less 200 pesos as well. When it comes sa base products, I always make sure that I have two options. First one is yung something na lightweight, yung very skin yung finish, and yung second naman is yung full coverage. And eto yung dalawang base na sobrang love na love kong ginagamit lately. Again, depende sa aking preference that day. On base na ang gusto ko lang is yung very natural skin, yung parang pag-even out lang ng skin tone ang habol ko, and also yung para lang magmukha akong fresh. Etong Easy and Co-Active Skin Tint yung love na love kong ginagamit. I've talked about this product multiple times already kaya feeling ko naman alam na alam nyo ng sobrang love ko to. And by the way, yung shade nga palang gamit ko dito is Sea Beach. On days naman na mas prefer kong mag full coverage, of course, ang ginagamit ko is the Super Stay Foundation 24-hour full coverage ng Maybelline. And this one is in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. Kasi diba may mga days naman na ang gusto natin is yung talagang sobrang plakado ng skin. And whenever I feel like, yun nga, mag full glam or mag full beat. Ito talagang foundation na to yung first na pumapasok sa isip ko. That's why I decided na ilagay siya sa aking everyday makeup kit. Coverage-wise, I don't have any problems kasi kapag ka, eto yung gamit kong foundation, kahit hindi na ako mag-spot conceal, okay na okay na. Sobrang flawless and plakado na ng skin ko. And for your reference, eto yung swatches nila. This one is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 112. Tapos, eto naman si Easy & Co. Active Skin Tint in Beach. For concealer, ang may recommend ko is from The Sem and that is itong kanilang Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. And as you can see, I have two concealers from this brand. And yung reason is because depende siya kung anong mood yung meron ako. The reason why I like this is because a little goes a long way, guys. Sobrang pigmented nito, but unlike other pigmented na concealers, 
this one hindi siya mabigat sa under eye especially. May mga ganong concealer kasi diba, even though pigmented sila, nakaka-cover talaga ng imperfections, ang downside is mabigat. But etong tip concealer, hindi siya ganun guys. Even though pigmented, very lightweight pa din. This one is shade 1.5 and eto naman si shade number 1. Dito din sa powder, I always make sure na meron akong dalawang options. First one is a loose powder and yung second naman is a pressed powder. And eto yung isa sa mga powder Powders na sobrang love na love kong ginagamit for everyday. This one is from Fashion 21 and ito yung kanilang papaya powder. Ayan guys, this is how the powder looks like. And actually, bagong refill to kaya hindi ko pa siya nagagamit kasi nahitpan ko na yung nakaraan and nabasag siya. Kapag hindi ako magbibake, like for example, ang habol ko lang is yung talagang matanggal yung pagka-shiny ng face. Ito yung isa sa mga powders na sobrang gustong gusto kong ginagamit. Maganda din gamitin to especially pang highlight ng under eye and T-zone. Medyo light kasi yung kulay nito for my skin tone. By the way, this one is in the shade number 1. Hence, I love using this to, you know, highlight my under eye. Another powder that I really love using lately is the Caroline Oil Control Mattifying Powder in the shade Sugar. And this one, guys, okay na okay siya if you have oily skin and kung mahilig kayong mag-bake. This one, ginawan ko na siya ng video before and we near test ko siya. Makikita nyo doon guys kung gano'n siyang kaganda. So make sure to check the description box kasi ililink ko. But anyway, this is how the powder looks like. As you can see, medyo messy lang siya kasi ang lalaki ng butas. But maganda naman yung quality ng powder. Yun nga lang talaga, annoying yung lalagyan. And ayan, tingnan nyo naman guys, sobrang messy na kaagad, ba? This one is the Fashion 21 Papaya Powder in 1. And eto naman si Caroline Loose Powder in Sugar. Kung naghahanap kayo ng powder na finely milled, lightweight, and yung talagang perfect for everyday, and for oily skin, I'm very sure magugustuhan nyo itong pareho. For everyday bronzing and contour, at yung dalawang favorite kong ginagamit. For bronzing, I love using the Vice Cosmetics Aura Contour in Pore Sure. Tapos for contouring naman, I love using the Pink Flash Contour in the shade number 2. This is how the Vice Cosmetics Aura Contour in the shade Pore Sure looks like. And as you can see, saktong-sakto lang yung warmth na meron siya. It's not too orange, it's not too red, and also hindi rin naman siya grayish, kaya... Perfect na perfect siyang pang warm-up ng complexion. Again, eto naman yung product na sobrang gustong gusto kong ginagamit lately for contouring. Especially sa nose kasi maganda yung kulay niya. As you can see, this one cool toned siya kaya sobrang perfect because namimimik niya yung kulay ng shadow. But hindi naman siya yung klase ng cool toned na muddy. And hindi din naman siya yung klase ng contour na sobrang gray ng kulay na parang ano na ba? itim na or uling kapag ka nilagay sa face. Both of these are super affordable as well. Ito parang 120 something lang. Tapos ito naman less than 50 pesos I believe. Ito yung swatches nila guys. First one is the Pink Flash Contour in the shade number 2 and Eto naman is the Vice Cosmetics Aura Contour in the shade For Sure. Pagdating sa blush, of course, it's already up to you kung anong gusto niyong gamitin. Kasi diba, iba-iba naman tayo ng preference, especially pagdating sa kulay. Even sa formula, but personally for me, I love having options. And eto yung apat na blush na talagang tried and sobrang trusted kung ginagamit. First one is the EB Advance Bloom Blush. I have two shades. First one is Fig. And then yung second one is si Peony. This is definitely one of my most favorite local brand na blush kasi napakaganda ng formula. It's not powdery. You don't need a lot kasi sobrang pigmented and also ang fresh ng mga kulay, ba? And it lasts the whole day too. As in, kahit oily yung skin, kaya sulit na sulit to. I also love having products like this, yung cream and liquid. Kasi ba? maganda siyang gamitin especially kapag ka no makeup makeup lang. And both of my favorites are from Squad Cosmetics. First one is yung multi-purpose pot nila in the shade Muse. Tapos yung kanilang multi-use or multi-purpose cream. And this one naman is in the shade Gleeful. And since nga yung formula nito are cream and liquid, what happens is kapag ka nilagay nyo sa skin, kapag ka nalagyan siya ng warmth ng face, what happens is parang nagme-melt siya into the skin kaya napaka-natural talagang tignan. This one is the EB Advance Blush in the shade Peony. This one is the EB Advance Blush in the shade Fig. Ito naman is yung Squad Cosmetics Happy Pot in the shade Muse. And finally, we have the Squad Cosmetics Multi-Purpose Cream in the shade Gleeful. And as you can see, when it comes sa blush, mas prefer ko talaga yung medyo pinkish because mas fresh tignan kapag kaganitong kulay eh. Kasi di ba yung kulay talaga ng skin natin, especially kapag ka naiinitan, medyo reddish, medyo pinkish, kaya 
especially itong tatlo guys, ideal talaga sila for everyday. For highlighter, ito naman yung mai recommend ko na perfect for everyday. This one is from EB Advance and ito yung Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Spotlight. And the reason why I like this is because what's good about this is pwede nyo siyang gamitin ng light and also pwede nyo din siyang gamitin ng blinding. I believe I've had this since early last year and as you can see, napakadami pa ding laman, parang hindi nabawasan. Even though madalas ko siyang gamitin, kaya masasabi kong sulit to kasi ang tipid niya. If I'm not mistaken, they have total of 3 colors dito sa glow out highlight. But for me, ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. And actually, yung ibang highlighter shade na meron ako nito, pinamigay ko na since hindi ko naman nagagamit. Ito yung swatch ng highlight and as you can see, napaka-intense talaga ng shine na binibigay niya. Aside from that, actually, you can also use this as a body highlight. So, parang ano na din siya, di ba? Two in one. Hindi lang siya for the face but also for the body. Kasi di ba, parang ano, may pagka-champagne lang yung kulay niya kaya sobrang universal and marami talagang ano, babagayang skin tone. Sa mga palettes naman tayo this time and I have two recommendations and... For me, ito yung masasabi kong talagang perfect for everyday na eyeshadow palettes. First one is from Spotlight Cosmetics and ito yung kanilang Blockbuster Nude Palette. And the reason why I like this is because parang ano na din siya eh, face palette. Because as you can see, malalaki yung pants and very multi-purpose yung mga shades na meron dito. Like for example, this one pwede yung gamitin pang highlight ng under eye. This one pwede gamitin bronzer. Ito naman pwede gamitin contour. This one pwede yung gamitin pang kilay or pang eyeliner. And ito pwede gamitin highlight. That's why sobrang gusto ko talaga to guys. And for traveling, ito din yung isa sa mga ano, masasabi kong magandang dalhin because everything that you need para gumawa ng simple na makeup look. Nandito na sa palette na to. Ito naman yung second eyeshadow palette na nasa aking everyday makeup bag. And this is the Rich Eyeshadow Palette by EB Advance. I mean, look at that, ba diba? Napakaganda ng mga shades. Sobrang rich. Kaya ang perfect ng pangalan niya na Rich Palette. This is definitely one of the best eyeshadow palettes na nilabas ng Everbilena. And I highly, highly recommend this. Kasi even for clients, eh, pwedeng-pwede nyo gamitin to kung makeup artist kayo. And this one is very affordable too. I believe less than 300 pesos lang siya. And imagine, ba diba? For 300 pesos or less, you have 15 shades na and ayun nga, pwede nyo gamitin yung ibang shades sa iba't ibang purpose. Like this one, pwedeng pang kilay, eto pwedeng eyeliner, yung mga reddish color, pwedeng gawing blush. These uh, swatches are from the EB Advanced Rich Palette, tapos eto naman are from the Spotlight Cosmetics Palette. Very pigmented and ang gaganda ng kulay. That's why I really love these palettes and kasama sila sa makeup kit ko or sa everyday makeup bag because talagang ano eh, mamamaximize niyo yung purpose nila. If you guys know me, I'm very sure na alam niyo ng sobrang love na love kong mag-bushy brows and for me, ito talaga yung dalawang combo na sobrang perfect sa isa't isa. Tsaka napakamura lang nito guys, parang wala pa siyang 150 maximum and 50 ml na siya kaya panigurado. Especially kung sa kilay nyo lang gagamitin, maglalast sa inyo ng taon to. Ito naman yung second brow product na sobrang love na love kong ginagamit, especially for everyday. And this one is from Strokes. Ito yung kanilang micro blade, pen perfector in the shade graphite. And grabe guys, look at this. Look at that, diba? Sobrang fine nung tip. Kaya perfect na perfect gamitan pang kilay kasi namimimik talaga yung hair. I mean, look at these swatches. Dadmahin nyo na to guys kasi medyo napadiin ako. But look at this, kapag ka light-handed kayo, diba, napakaganda. Mukha talaga siyang hair-like strokes. Tsaka hindi siya mabilis mabura, guys. That's why I love using this one as well. And naging instant fave ko siya nung unang gamit ko pa lang. When it comes naman sa mascaras, I always make sure na meron akong dalawang options sa aking makeup kit. Kapag waterproof, yung favorite kong gamitin is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. And kapag ka naman hindi waterproof, Ang favorite ko is itong kanilang Total Temptation. And just in case you guys want to see, ito yung wand ng Falsy Slash Lift and also ng Total Temptation. And both of these mascaras are really nice, especially kapag ka manipis yung lashes nyo kasi talagang ginagawa nilang full and also thick looking yung lashes. I also love having two options pagdating sa liner or eyeliner. First one is a liquid and yung second naman is a gel pen. And ito yung dalawang favorite kong gamitan guys, the Vice Cosmetics X Anclutes Gel Liner and the Careline Graph Ink Liner. This one is the Anclutes Liner and this one is the Careline. And as you guys can see, both of them are smudge proof, waterproof as well, kaya okay na okay. Kasi kapag kanilagay nyo sa eyes, hindi nyo na sila iintindihin pa. Of course, kilala nyo naman ako guys, I love glitters. That's why sobrang importante and must have talaga sa akin na merong glitter liner sa aking makeup kit. And eto yung dalawang favorite ko and love na love na ginagamit. First one is the Focal Your Glitter Liner in the shade Beam and yung 
Second naman is the Teviant Glitter Liner in the shade Pearl. Again, itong mga product na to guys, sobrang gustong gusto kong ginagamit, especially kapag gusto kong gawing sparkly yung simple eye makeup kasi instant glam talaga kapag kami ganito. And actually, even for ano eh, inner corner, pwedeng pwedeng yung gamitin pang highlight kasi sobrang sparkly nila and talagang maganda yung effect. Anyway, at yung swatches nila guys, this one is the Focalure Glitter Liner in Platinum and this one naman is the Teviant Glitter Liner in the shade Pearl. And di ba look at that, kapag ka nagmumove ka, napakaganda ng effect, especially kapag ka natatamaan ng ilaw. As for lip products, of course, iba-iba naman tayo ng preference when it comes sa color and formula. That's why it's already up to you kung anong gusto nyong ilagay. But for me, as you guys can see, I love having a lot of options. Bullet lipsticks, lip tints, lip glosses, lip oils. Para di ba, depende sa mood mo or makeup look na gagawin, at least you have options. This one is the Powder Pout in Kenny. This is the Blight Lipstick in the shade Juliet. This is yung BYS Lipstick in the shade Mamacita. Mersey Lip Tint in 14. BLK Lip Gloss in the shade Diamond. Glitz Bish in the shade Sand Nudes. This one is the Happy Skin X Love Marie in In the Nudes. In the Nude pala guys, not in the Nudes. And obvious naman guys, more on nudes talaga yung mga ginagamit ko because I feel like eto yung mga shades na talagang perfect for me and also for everyday, di ba? Kasi ano lang eh, very MLBB sila kaya it looks very natural and ang ganda lang tingnan, healthy looking lips lang. As for setting spray, eto naman yung sobrang love na love kong ginagamit guys. This one is the Fresh Formula Glow Boost Fix and Finish Illuminating Face Mist. To be honest, in terms of longevity, hindi naman siya nakakatulong but I love using this especially kapag ka madami akong ginagamit na powder kasi I feel like whenever I use this after ko mag makeup, mas nagmumukhang natural yung finish ng makeup if that makes sense. Siguro may only beef about this product is that yung mist niya hindi ganun kapino. I feel like mas okay sana kung pinong-pino pa siya para mas maganda yung buga but kung malayo nyo naman siyang i-apply. Okay naman, hindi ganun ka big deal. And there you have it. Ayun na po yung laman ng aking everyday makeup kit. And I'm hoping na sana nakatulong tong video na to, especially for those of you na baguhan sa makeup and nagbabalak na mag-build ng sarili nilang makeup kit. Sana din merong ilan sa kanila na mapasama sa inyong makeup kit. I would love that to happen because I really value yung trust na binigay nyo sa akin, especially sa mga ganitong bagay. If you enjoyed watching, of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay safe. And I hope to see all of you again on my next one.